Welcome back to Selden Student 101. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I'm here to make a study vlog to help you learn to manage your time efficiently and study well. And at the same time, you'll be able to do all the things you like doing while still doing as well as you can in school, because it's all about balance. And that's what I'm here to teach you mainly. But this video has been requested by a viewer and it bas they basically just want me to go over my daily routine at university because uh, some people find it very difficult to balance work and fun, especially at university when you can go out with, we can go out really often, miss all your lectures and just do the same thing again. So this video is gonna be about my daily routine at university. Let's get to it. So the first thing I usually do in the day, depending on what I did the night before, would be go to the gym. But if I'd gone out the night before, then I'd leave the gym for later on in the afternoon. So if you didn't go out the night before, I'd recommend going to the gym. Or if you're brave, even if you did go out, just go anyway. But then basically it's just in the morning, getting ready and going to lectures. Now with lectures, I highly recommend that you go to all of them. Because a lot of people say, you know what, I'm not going to go to the lectures, but I'll catch them later because they're recorded. And then they just end up not catching them later because they can't be bothered. So if you get into the good mindset of always going to your lectures, that will really help you in the long run. Now, for me, my lectures were normally in four hour blocks and there would sometimes be no gaps in between. However, if you do have gaps in between, I highly recommend going to a coffee shop or a library and simply just going over the lecture you just had and trying to commit as much as you can to memory and just basically making sure you understand it. If you don't understand it, get a textbook out and try and find out how to do it. And if you still don't understand it, then maybe try and find the lecturer during their tutorial help, help hour and ask some questions and uh, make sure you actually understand the content. Because a lot of people at university, because they don't just have a teacher always there, they have loads of questions but never get the answers. And it comes to the end of the year and they need loads of answers, but they don't know anything. So to summarize, make sure you go to your lectures. In any breaks between your lectures, use that time efficiently and just go over your lecture notes, make sure you understand the content, and make sure if you don't understand something, you get the help you need. So now that lectures are done, for me, it would usually be time to eat lunch. So then I would go and eat lunch, and then I would go to my room or go to the library and go over the last lecture that I just had. And then I would look at any tasks that I've been given that I need to give in and complete, and I would complete them. So at this point in the day, you would have gone over all of the lectures and made sure you understood it or found questions to ask someone or found the answers in a textbook. You would have done your tasks that you need to give in. So now there's nothing that I would say you need to do. So in this sort of time, what I would do is if I, if I haven't already, I would go to the gym or I would try and catch my friends and just chill out for a bit. And then... Um, if you're in a sports team or you have any society commitments, hopefully they're in the afternoon. So now would be a good time to go to them. But the main thing that I say is you should get all the things you have to do out of the way and the work and the studying. Unfortunately, that's going to be the stuff you have to do. You get that out of the way and then now you have all this free time to enjoy yourself. Now, because of the way that the work is at Cambridge, I find that sometimes the afternoon isn't enough and sometimes I have to go into the evening and this will just vary based on the person and the workload. So if you don't have anything else to do now, you've gone over everything, you've done all the tasks you need to do, that's great. Now for the rest of the day, you can just chill out. If up until dinner, you don't have enough time to do everything, then that's fine. You can do some of it after dinner. But I would say get as much, as it, get as much of it as you can out of the way first. So... Now, all your tasks are done, you've got some free time, and to be honest, I don't really need to tell you how to do your, use your free time. If you're struggling with things to do, I would say going to the gym, because that's something I really enjoy, and it's something that I see progress with very often, and it just makes me feel great. You can find a society, you could find a sport that you like, or depending on the time, you can start getting ready with your friends, start doing pre-drinks, or just chilling with them before you go out, and then you can go out. So that's basically it really. The day does not have to be timetabled to the absolute letter. The main thing is you need to prioritize what you need to do 
and then you have all this free time to enjoy yourself. Because as you can see, for most people, you could probably get everything done by around three or four o'clock, depending on your workload. And then for the rest of the day, you have nothing to do, or sorry, you nothing that you have to do, and you can just do whatever you want. So I hope this you found this video helpful. I know it's a bit short and sweet, but my main message is do all the things you need to do first, and then you have all that free time to enjoy. Because you don't want to be that sort of person who hasn't done any of their work and has a deadline the next day and they have to spend the rest of the night doing all that work, not being able to go out and just getting really bad sleep and staying up till really late because they didn't manage their time effectively and now have a task that they have to do. I'm very against procrastination. Make sure you do what you need to do first and then enjoy. And that's a sum up of my daily routine. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. I think I'll next make a video about Freshers Week and my tips and advice about how to get the most out of it because for a lot of people, it's really scary. Thanks for watching. I hope that you like this video. If you could subscribe, it would mean a lot to me because it would help me really expand my viewer base. Thanks for watching.